Hello folks, this is Jeffrey Bale. My call sign is NT1K. And today we're going to look at the EARCHI NFED antenna developed by the, uh, or made popular by the Emergency Amateur Radio Club of Hawaii. If you Google them and the word NFED, you will find their plans to make this antenna. And what the antenna consists of is basically a 9 to 1 balloon, or uh, uh, 9 to 1 unbalanced, unbalanced in this situation, that exits here to approximately 30 feet of number 18 wire. So what I want to do is I, I've constructed the unit per as per their instructions. The only difference is I used a, they asked for a T106 da type 2 or dash 2 trans uh, toroid. I'm using a T130 uh, type 2 transform, uh, a toroid, I'm sorry. And I hope this is an actual type 2 material being used. So I made it as per their instructions. I have it in a little uh, tool case, a little plastic tool case here. And what I also, what I'm going to do is we're going to measure it with the, uh, the mini VNA Pro. I have it hooked up to the, uh, the coax that comes out of, uh, that comes out of uh, right there. It's hooked up right there through the coax into the input here. And if you see, I got resistors here. A lot of resistors <laughs> hooked up to the ground or the shield of the cable to the uh, the output right here. So I got uh, one, two, three, four resistors in series with a pair of, uh, it's not in focus here, but with a pair of 100 ohm resistors in parallel to give it a total of 450 ohms. So if you were to take 50 ohms, which is the impedance of our transceiver, or the impedance that would our, our transceiver would like to see, and if this is truly a nine to one balloon, you would see the the um, our results show fifty ohms pretty much across the uh, across the frequencies here. So we're gonna load the VNA J software. Let's bring it over to this screen, and let's get rid of this video screen here. Okay, so in previous videos I showed you how to set up the VNA and how to use it and stuff like that. So we're just going to do a straight measurement with it. So I already calibrated it as best as I can. I do have a BNC adapter here that I, uh, I'm using, and that might factor into it. But for the most part, we just want to see if we're close to 50 ohms. So we're going to start the frequency at 100, uh, 100 kilohertz, but we, we're not going to go all the way up to 200 megahertz as shown here. Um, it's an HF antenna, so we're going to go to 60 megahertz. We'll we'll include uh we'll include some of the uh, we'll include six meters and see if it can do how well it works on six meters. So if we're going to do a we're going to do a couple scans here, an average amount, and we're going to look at SWR as well as impedance in ohms. So let's do a single pass. Oh, it's going to analyze it three times down here, as you see. No problem. It's going to take the average of the three results and plot it out. And here we go. So in blue is the impedance, and in green is the SWR. So let's lay some markers out here. So let's start off. We'll start off in uh, 160 meter region so right about there there's marker oh, there's marker one we'll put marker two at 80 meters or so 75 80 meters there we go oh, there's marker one come on marker two where are you there let's put marker one back at one point something one yeah one point seven two let's put marker two at about three or let's just put marker at seven megahertz or something let's put marker three at 14 megahertz well, let's try to get it within the 20 meter band here and let's put marker four 
Well, as we go out, you can see it. Uh, the impedance starts to really increase about about at the um, around 31 megahertz. So we'll put marker four there. So there we go. That's it. So according to this, this is a nine to one ballon and it looks good over the HF portion. I probably wouldn't use this antenna on um, six meters, as you can see. If we were to go to 50 megahertz, the impedance is at, um, you know, 100 ohms, and the SWR is at 2.5 to 1. So um, it might receive okay, but I wouldn't use it to transmit on. So that, that that's when the... Um, the NFED is seeing 450 ohms, which is not. You're, uh, it's uh, with the long wire you got there. It's probably not going to see 450 ohms. It's going to be various. So uh, that's where if you have a, uh, a an antenna match or an antenna tuner, some people call it a, you can at least match the impedance with the uh, with the with the ballon or with the with the un on here. So I just wanted to show you if we hooked 450 ohms to the input or into the output of the um, transformer what we would get here on the VNA so yeah it works makes me a little bit happier knowing that so um, thank you for watching and if you like these videos please subscribe and like and visit my website at www.nt1k.com thank you very much and, and have a nice day